Hey guys, so I uploaded 28 YouTube Shorts for 28 days straight, which I have shown how I did it in this video over here. For this video though, I want to share with you my personal thoughts on YouTube Shorts and whether it is worth doing or not for your own YouTube channel, especially if your channel is relatively small. I'll start this off by saying YouTube Shorts is addicting. Not only did it help my channel grow by 50%, but it also helped me release and forget about the frustration in running a YouTube channel in its own way. So what do I mean by that? I want you to imagine this for a second. Every morning after you get out of bed and you check your YouTube channel, the first thing you look at is your subscriber count, right? And deep inside you, you will be praying and hoping the subscriber count goes up, whether it is just a little bit or in the best case scenario, thousands of new subscribers. Now, in my situation, having a few hundred new subscribers is hardly the case, and I would be happy if the number goes up, even if just by a little. However, with YouTube Shorts though, I was surprised by the amount of new subscribers I'm getting every day. There wasn't a day that went by that I ended up not having any new subscribers. And at one point, I automatically expect my subscriber count to go up each day. It completely eliminates my frustration in not seeing my channel grow daily. So YouTube Shorts is able to do that for me, and it made me feel like my channel is finally moving somewhere. And to not have that feeling of disappointment with my channel not growing, it kind of makes YouTube fun again. I guess it's just less stressful because I have no expectations anymore. The other thing I love about YouTube Shorts is it helps remove my stress in running a YouTube channel. You know how when you spend hours, if not days, trying to produce that one great video that you are very proud of that you think is going to do very well? But as soon as you launch it, you hardly get any views and it makes you feel like the time and effort you put in has just all been wasted and it makes you feel like garbage. Well, YouTube Shorts kind of got rid of that feeling too, in some way. But this might be contributed by the fact that I was uploading daily. When I uploaded daily, there were days where my YouTube short wasn't performing at all. Some of them even gained less than 100 views. But I wasn't really let down by it, because to me, even though the video tanked today, I am already looking forward to trying again the next day because I have one YouTube short coming up the following day. Basically, I created chances for myself. So it puts me in this mood where I was just trying topics and videos and completely disregarding the performance of that video that tanked. If the YouTube short gains no views, that's okay, I'll try again tomorrow. If the YouTube short gets pushed and gets thousands of views, Great, that's a bonus to me. Again, this comes back to me having little to no expectations at all, and I'm loving it. Now, of course, I can also be pumping long form videos every single day, am I right? That will give me roughly the same result. This is where I think we as small YouTube channel benefit from YouTube Shorts. Creating one long form video every single day is exhausting. The time it takes to do the recording and the video editing is going to chew up a lot of your time. YouTube Shorts don't have to have that heavy production, at least not yet. Most viewers of vertical video kinda expect the video to be recorded using your smartphone. So that makes our work as creators a lot simpler and we are capable of producing a video a day, frankly, quite easily. And if that short video tanks, it doesn't feel that bad knowing that you did not put as much effort into it, whereas in a long form video, I'm always thinking about if I should do more editing or more footages because I do get sad if the video I put so much effort in doesn't perform. All right, to be fair, YouTube Shorts is not perfect. It isn't all sunshine and rainbows. Whilst YouTube Shorts did give my YouTube channel an unbelievable growth, there is no way for me to tell what works and what doesn't. If you have a look at the topics of my YouTube Shorts, they are more or less the same and I was actually repeating myself in some way. I was producing the same type of contents with the same type of setup. The only difference is the title itself. But why is it that some videos are performing better than the others? I don't know. Getting more views on YouTube Shorts is 100% reliant on getting pushed by the algorithm 
And as far as I know, there's no way I can tell why some videos get pushed and some don't. And so because I don't know how it works, all I can do is keep producing new content and continuously create new opportunities for myself instead. Okay, there is something I want to confess. I haven't been perfectly honest with you on one thing. The truth is, when I uploaded YouTube Shorts for the entire month of February, my YouTube channel was running on autopilot mode in that month. I wasn't actually doing anything with my YouTube channel apart from replying to comments. My time on YouTube was kept to a minimum because I decided that I needed some time away from YouTube. In fact, I was on holiday somewhere and I finished all of my YouTube shorts videos back in January. Okay, let's go over this one more time. I didn't have to worry about my channel for a whole month and I didn't do any video recording but my channel still grew more than 50%. Do you see what I'm trying to say here? Now, I was only able to do this because it is a YouTube short. If it was a long form video, then I couldn't have done this at all. I guess what I'm most appreciative here is that I found a way for me to chill and relax and even take a break from YouTube without worrying about my channel's growth. I used to make myself post one video a week consistently and that eventually took a toll on me when I ran out of ideas and it gets tiring when I see slow progress. But YouTube Shorts now gave me a new way, a new strategy where if I am well prepared, my channel can still grow even when I am away. What I'm trying to say here is I have some free time for myself now. I don't have to research that much. I don't have to record long videos if I don't want to. I actually have a choice. Now having said that, I still do prefer long form videos. I will still continue to create long form videos where I can because I think that's what YouTube is all about. But at least now, there are other great and working options. The only thing I'm concerned with is YouTube Shorts unpredictability. Evergreen content doesn't seem to work and there's just too much dependency on the algorithm for this one. I may get lucky and get my videos pushed and get thousands of views or I may get unlucky and get only 10 views. The difference is enormous. Moreover, YouTube Shorts is still not as saturated yet. So I don't know if I will still be that lucky when every single channel out there starts doing YouTube Shorts. I for one will still continue to explore YouTube Shorts. I just like the idea of being able to take time off while my channel continues to grow. The next thing I would love to try is repurposing my YouTube Shorts. As you all know, vertical videos is like the thing now. What I would love to try is making one YouTube Shorts then repurposing them on TikTok and Instagram Reels. So that's making one video and distributing them across all platforms. Then I'll see if I can redirect users from TikTok and Instagram back to YouTube. It does sound like a lot of work, but that's something I would love to try. I think it is about time to start thinking out of the box a little. All this while I've been relying solely on getting pushed by the YouTube algorithm, which isn't a good strategy. But anyways, let me know what you think about YouTube Shorts, if you are going to try them or not. I love to know. That's all from me. Thumbs up, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for your time and see ya.